Pokemon Go just announced an event for Worlds, so let's jump into it, because it is bringing some new Pokemon. So Worlds is here, and it's about to start, so they're going to be bringing a special event for it, being that it is located in Japan. It is going to be the first time it's located in Japan, so new Pokemon are going to be coming, and they are going to be centering around that competitive set. So as we jump in, we do have World Champion. Amongst other prizes, the Pokemon Go World Champions will receive the in-game item here, the emotes and, you know, the clothes, which is always going to be nice. But you will be able to watch and be able to have access to codes, which you can be inputting to get your avatar items. Right here, you have your world's t-shirt with a code and available global at no cost. So these are going to be some t-shirts and items that can be distributed while you are watching. You got day one, two, and three. So make sure you keep an eye out on those if you are wanting some of these exclusive t-shirts for this event. They will only be during the stream itself. That's when the code will be dropping. Now, some Pokemon are making its debut. But Simeon is making his Pokemon Go debut. <laughs> so now we have a Rangaroo and now we have Persimian coming in. So make sure you don't miss this because that's going to be a great Pokemon. And then we do have a World's Champions 2023 Pikachu with a t-shirt coming in. It can be shiny. Persimian is not going to be shiny. So that's kind of going to be a bummer. Now for the event bonuses, you're going to have a maximum number of sets you can play. So battling is going to go up from 5 to 10. So it's going to be like 50 battles. And then, you know, Various attack and defense HPs are going to be different when acquiring the Pokemon from the Battle League. So in time research, you're going to have Pikachu with that 2023 outfit. Can be shiny. You get some elite fast TMs, which are going to be really, really nice. These are going to be mainly centered around that competitive sets. We do have Machop, Cinchino, Wooper, Sableye, Metatite, Sveal, Drillblur, Scraggy, Bunnelby, and Wooloo. Now, these are definitely going to be your wild encounters. Lots of them can be shiny. Scraggy can be hard to get. You're going to have little bonuses so you can go ahead and get a better competitive set for it. Sveal gets outshadowed by its shadow form in the competitive for the Great League, but Scraggy's really good. Dub Wool coming from that Wooloo is really good, and make sure you pick up this Wooloo because it only shows up in events, and it's only been in about two events. So if you don't have this, Make sure you pick it up for your decks. Even if it's a good one or not, you need that for your decks. Very good pickup here coming to the wild encounter. But if you are lucky, you can go ahead and get yourself an Onyx or a Lickitung, which Lickitung and Licky Licky are very good in the Great League as well. It's very going to be a competitive based set. Now in the one star raids, you're going to have the world champion Pikachu with that t-shirt. It's going to be a one star. You can get that shiny. If you get that shiny, it is going to be one of the rarest shinies in the game because of the exclusiveness to this event. You have Alolan Sandrew, you have Gligar, and you have Scraggy. Scraggy's really good in Great League. And then Alolan Sandrew is going to be outclassed by a shadow form in the Great League. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm personally going to be going for that World Champions Pikachu because of the rarity of it. And then in three-star raids, you're going to have Skarmory, Galarian Stungfisk, and for Simeon, being that it's dropping, it's just now coming into the game, it's not going to be shiny, but make sure you get this because it can be very, very strong and it's new. You don't want to miss anything new. In the five star raids, it's going to be Cresselia with that shiny. And Cresselia is an amazing Ultra League Great League user. It's really hard to get that one IV set on it with that bonus coming, being able to get those fluctuated attack, HP, and defense IVs. Normally, you have to trade to get that set on it. Now, you have a better chance of just getting it outright from pretty much anything. So make sure you try and grab a Cresselia if you haven't grabbed one yet for one of those leagues. Mega Raids are going to be Mega Gyarados. Mega Gyarados is going to be a very big water attacker, and he does have that shiny that can drop. So make sure you look out for that if you don't have your Mega Gyarados already. For the research tasks, we are going to be getting that Pikachu again, Alolan Sandrew, Sveal, Magikarp, Galarian, Zigzagoon, Sveal, and Passimian with Wimpod as well. These are your field research tasks. Everything can be shiny except for that Wimpod and Passimian. So keep an eye out for that. That's going to be very good research there. And then it does have features attacks. So in this event, the Pokemon are going to have their special attacks 
pretty much going on. Alolan Sandslash is going to be getting the Shadow Claw for a move because these are going to be featured moves during this event. So you can go ahead and get a fast attack of Shadow Claw if you evolve it. But Champ is going to get Payback for its charged attack. Dugong is going to get Icy Wind for its charged attack and fast attack of Ice Shard. So that's very interesting. Walrin is going to be getting the fast attack Powder Snow and charged attack Icicle Spear. That is a very strong Pokemon. Make sure you get that set on him because it will go away. And if you do have a good shadow, you can go ahead and get those moves on him. And it's insane. Obstagoon is going to be able to get charged attack of Obstruct. So just the moves alone from this event are going to be very nice if you are trying to grab one of those moves or a set or an attacking set, something along those lines. Walrin is definitely going to be a standout here for those charge attacks because he is useful in PvP, but also in raids. So keep that in mind. And then we do get some avatar items that we can get. We got the jersey and the jacket, which is always going to be nice. But that is going to be it for this event. This is going to be a very special worlds event focusing on competitive PvP play. With the Pokemon that are be sitting here, make sure you don't miss up on that Scraggy, the Wulu if you don't have it, a Simeon, and then at least cry and grab a Pikachu with that Worlds t-shirt. Since it will be really rare, it is another outfit. I wish they didn't do another outfit, but it's Pikachu and a Worlds outfit can be shiny, can be essentially one of the rarest. And then in the Go Battle League, you're going to be getting some various bonuses. But it is going to be running from August 11th to August 15th. So make sure you jump in there and try and get some of that. We are also going to be having a Froki Calm Day during that day on the 13th. So that's something you don't want to miss. But if you are excited for any of these Pokemon, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one.